My name is Max Dean. We're on the fifth floor of the Art Gallery of Ontario. We're in one of the exhibition spaces, which is presently not with an exhibition, so to speak, but is actually the home to the conservation of my artwork that belongs here. In 1992, I made this piece called As Yet Untitled, and what I had wanted to do, and what I did do, was I wanted to give the viewer the opportunity to determine the fate of a found family photograph. So what I did was found a robot, an industrial robot, which is over here on my right, and uh, the robot itself picks up one of these photographs from this particular hopper, and then presents the viewer with the photograph and gives them the opportunity to decide whether or not the photograph is going to be shredded or whether or not it's going to be saved. Now, if the viewer wants to intervene in the process, what they do is that they take their hand, one or both hands, and they actually cover uh, with their palms these hand silhouettes. And should they do that, what happens is the robotic arm will then take that photograph and move it over to an archival box. Should no one be there or should they decide not to save it, the robotic arm then takes the photograph and feeds it into a shredder, which is directly below us. And then the photograph is shredded, drops on a conveyor belt, and then travels and is up the belt and is piled um, behind. I think we've probably shown over half a million photographs. So, and a great many of those, actually over two thirds of those have been shredded. So either no one was here or someone made a decision not to save the photograph like that. So this piece has an enormous history about it and it's traveled worldwide and things like that. But like all machines, uh, they eventually break down. And in this, this particular case, the machine, the robot itself is from uh, the early 80s. And um, the technology in the 1980s was such that um, there were perishable parts in many of the in, in many of the controllers or the quote what we would call the kind of brain would be the, the easiest way of, of, of describing it. So over the years what has happened is that uh, developments have been made through solid state technologies and things like that and you can actually upgrade the product like that. So what we're doing now is we're actually rep replacing the robotic controller. It's the thing that controls the actions of the robots and makes it, quote, appear smart. But what's interesting about this from um, a conservation point of view is that um, you're kind of upgrading the technology. The idea and uh, the actions and everything else about the piece stay very much the same, but there's the opportunity to advance it and to make it more, as they would say in engineering terms, rugged, which would mean it'll, it, the durability of it would, is increased, the, the, the longevity of it's increased, the uh, amount of uh, maintenance you have to do it on it is radically reduced and things like that. You have fewer moving parts. All of the things that we've known, come to know through uh, technology over in the last little while is a, a basically being applied to this box. It, it's really gratifying to have an institution collect a kinetic work. And I have to say that there are very few of them and there are very few of them that take it seriously. And I think in Canada we've got a precedent with the AGO of really taking on these very, very difficult or what they seem to be difficult technological works. And I think that there is so much of this work going to be produced in the future and there's so much of it available at the moment that I think it's actually a shame that if we don't take on this responsibility to it, something like that. And it really isn't that complex. And the really important thing is that while we're here, so to speak, while we're here, we should be doing this because one day, you know, it's going to be, I'm not going to be in the room anymore. <laughs> Hopefully a long time from now, but that, that's, that, that is a reality is that we have to, we have to do this while, while the paint is still wet, so to speak.